friends and neighbors welcome to another production of the program here we are on TV once again once a day every day turn on the machines and live forever here we go we're alive and it's Tuesday um, made it uh, Tuesday is the real day of the week. You ever heard about Tuesdays? Because this is one of these Tuesdays, so. Is it real? Are you feeling real today? Uh, yesterday I did the program at 5 o'clock. No, 8, 8.45, not live at 5. Yesterday was the first not live at 5 day. Today is day 2 of live at 8.35. Or something like that. We're trying to figure out these rhymes. They're trying to do things at 5 because they rhyme with live. Live at 8.35. We're 8.45 now. We're at live at 8.45. That's the new time. At least I am live at 8.45. I don't know if we uh, established. Like, how well did we establish this whole thing from yesterday to today to, to figure out these times? Uh but let's get here on the phones. Let's get to the phones and see who's on there. Because yeah, I didn't leave the house again. Another 24 hours of, of, of not going anywhere. I don't know if Yellowfell's going to be awake though. It's going to be pretty late for him today. Because it's uh, not live at 5 anymore. Live at 8.45. It's only like midnight. I think it's only like midnight for Yellowfell. Probably awake. Hi, boy. <laughs> At that hour, it's uh Cinco de Mayo, so I got my burrito out of the freezer and uh, in the oven. Let's see if it if burritos can sit in the freezer for a month. Oh, there's Freddy. Oh, I didn't even look in the thing. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hello. I'm trying to get this thing going so we can hear Freddy, but, uh, there. Hello? Hey, what's up? Hey, Freddy. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Oh, yeah. My sister's birthday. Oh, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. I got this burrito. I pulled it from the freezer. Oh, uh, how is it? Have you, heat, have you heated it up yet? Yeah, I heated it up and I'm eating it. I put it in the uh, oven for 20 minutes at 350 and it's... Did you get a supreme burrito or regular? Regular. It tastes okay. You got steak? Uh-huh. No sour cream, huh? No sour cream, but that'll be frozen and then heat cooked anyway. If I, I got feel it. like, yeah, since you, that's probably best, best if you're gonna freeze it. We, so how's it working out? Is this a recommended uh, way to eat the burrito? Get the burrito, freeze it, eat it later. Um, I mean, I think it's better just eat it when you buy it. <laughs> probably. Okay. Yeah, but how is it like compared right now? Like, you good? It's it tastes. Similar, the outside is a little crispy, like the, uh -huh. the tortilla is a little crispy, and I'm slightly concerned about like it being rancid. I, I, I just stuck in the freezer, like I put it in the freezer like when it was warm, like over a month ago. I don't think it's rancid, no um, way. It didn't smell bad, I'm eating it, but I'm just like, you know, slightly concerned that it's just like the freezing and sitting process, how that is going to do deal with the whole goodness of the food but um it tastes okay i'm gonna eat it and we're gonna see it's a, a little experiment in health i think it's gonna be great oh. i mean it, it's not rancid i think it sounds like it, it worked yeah um i'm trying to get my video going for you I, uh, let's see there all right nope 
Nope. Oh, yep. Right? I have it. I have it. 845. You working? Yeah, it's working. Yeah, so we're live at 845, and now we're, uh, we're getting into it. It rhymes. 845 and 5 are live. They both rhyme. We, we kept it over the rhyme going. Like, what else rhymes with five or live? We're never gonna stop rhyming. Um, never gonna stop again. Can't rhyme. Can everything's gotta rhyme now? <laughs> so, what, are you okay? How's nighttime? Why are you like squinting? <laughs> huh? Is it night? Are you t are you sleepy? Is it nighttime? I'm sleepy. Uh, I was thinking I might just leave the Zoom going so that I could uh, like relax. I don't know, but. Um, um, you know, I'm here, so. Yeah, you're I was to think of other things that rhyme with five, though. That's what I was doing right then. Oh, <laughs> alive, alive, things that rhyme with five. Live, um, drive. Drive. Drive at five. Live, drive, drive at five. Drive. Contrive. Drive. Well. Here's a, a message, or a yellow fellow left a message, he was, he was just going like, eh, we can call him. And call him back? Mm-hmm. Good did idea. You, did you do anything Mexican today? Mm. No, I did I did not. Does your, does your sister have uh, Mexican-themed birthdays? Um, yeah, she is, and then she um, is going hiking. I asked her where she went hiking, and I haven't heard back from her, so hopefully she's doing okay. In Mexico? Nope, not in Mexico. She doesn't do Mexican themed things for her birthdays in the past, maybe, when you were kids? Well, I don't think so, no. No uh, pinatas? Maybe we had a pinata, but I don't think it's because it was Cinco de Mayo. Just general kids party pinata. Yeah. Yeah, yellow fellow is going to be late for him. It's going to be like. Mm. Please leave your message for midnight. Sorry, baby. Oh, yellow yeah, fellow. Hey, yellow fellow, it's a program. You can call us back. You have about 52 minutes. Are you uh, asleep? I think you might be asleep. All right, bye. Yeah. Uh. I, I like the nighttime. Usually now, like these days, when the like sun's going down, it's like I'm sitting in the chair. <laughs> so I have a chair next to my bed, and I, I now I went to work only for one day, but now it's like back to not work again. So I get out of bed, and then I go to the chair. And you sit in the chair for a little while. Well, uh, I sit in the chair like all day, basically. So it's like get out oh, of yeah. bed, wake up, get out of bed, go sit in the chair. It's like all oh, the day, it's daylight. Better wake up, sit in this chair, and then it's like, oh well. By the time when the sun goes down, that's when I'm allowed to get back into bed. <laughs> and oh, then I see. Yeah, I'm like watching TV sense. from the chair, and then I move two feet over to the bed. So tomorrow's work. Yeah, again. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm back at work for that at the same time, and so I think we should. This is a good time for the program. Um, you got a little end. I mean, we can figure it out so you don't have to be on the Zoom every time, uh, or. Whatever. Yeah. I usually want to. Usually I do. So. Yeah. But I can just leave it running, too. You know, that's the thing. Yeah, I'll just leave it going the whole time. Yeah. On the computer or something. Uh, yeah, I'll follow that answer. We got some more messages from Mark, too. Oh, yeah. I'll get to the messages right off the bat now, because I'm not doing anything. You do anything? Mm, I went to Grass Lake, and I walked around... This, uh, there's like one mile path from Grass Lake. Grass Lake? Yeah, it's over here on the west side. It was really beautiful. It was like completely um, nature. I don't know where, I don't know that one. Grass Lake. Um, they opened the parks today, though. You, was there people out, out there? There was a couple people, but not too many. Hey, John. Hello. A new person. John? John? Yeah, yeah. Hi. John, here. John. How's it going? Is this yellow fellow? It is. That's what you what? look like? Oh my god. I look like. That's not what I imagined. 
Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm very curious what you might have imagined. Oh. I didn't think you'd have facial hair for some reason. I didn't, I haven't always, due to, uh, pandemic time. It's Yellow Bell's face! Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. I never thought I was going to see this day. That's I weird. Real- <laughs> oh, that's weird. Yeah, that was- in my in my mind, you're a little kid <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, like a tw- I was a little boy at one point. <laughs> Whoa, this is weird. When you were yeah. when you when you were like calling um originally, you were like a twelve year old. So I think I just like left you at being a twelve year old. I don't know if I've matured much. You look. I mean, maybe I don't know. Don't I haven't seen your face before, but you look a lot older than you sound to me. Well, how old do you think I am? What? <laughs> well, I look older than I sound. I you look, look older than I say... What? 25? Uh, a year older. Yeah, 26. Okay. Nice. But I, I just put you at, uh, like, being very, uh, youth, youth looking. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you were 16 a... when the program started. That's the crazy thing. No. In 2010? What? No, it... Was it 2010? I think it was 2012. I didn't call when it started. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, with the show, you're right. Yeah, yeah. So that was like... You called a few, only 18. like, right, only, okay. only a few years into it, though. Yeah. I remember yeah, that, that's still right at the I very think beginning. the very first episode I called into was a backdoor, I mean, backyard episode. Um, there was a bunch of people sitting in a backyard together. Um... Does that ring a bell? You know who's... Oh, and that, that, you, that was the first time you called was at one of the, um, Hayakubas. It was in 2012, someone's backyard. Yeah. Oh, well, it was in... We were in the garage or we were in the actual backyard? Cause I think we might have been in the garage. It, no, no, I remember it was a, it was a backyard. It might have been a special episode. Oh, yeah, I think that was, the, um, the, the, what we're calling Hayakuba now, but we weren't calling it Hayakuba. That was, was weird. I'm seeing your face. <laughs> I'm like, don't believe it's you. Say something only Yellowfellow would know. <laughs> it is. Huh? I'm gonna go way back. Hey, you wanna look at my... I got a little, uh... Little fish guy. Oh, I almost dropped him. Fuck. Oh. Little fish. Yeah. Well, I just, yeah. Um, uh, the, So, yeah, I think that was Hayakuba 2012, so we can pinpoint that day. It was September... Not September 19th. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, don't think. I, I don't want anyone to go back and watch that episode. So that I shouldn't have revealed that. I I thought you were calling before that. Maybe it was after that. Because I remember you yeah. from... I thought it was from Andrew's Garage. Which was even before that. When you were calling and you were just saying... Like... Yeah. My, I think I was texting things. I was texting yellow things. When you said, like, my dad put me in the bathtub... And yeah, doing weird things. I, I think I was inspired by Tim and Eric stuff. Oh, really? Oh, because you watched uh, David Lieberhart, huh? And that, that, I mean, I was in a big, I was on a big Tim and Eric kick around that time. People really liked that show, and then they tried to yeah, be it. I, I still think that stuff is funny. I don't think I'm as into them any. I'm not. I'm not really liking their new stuff over the years. And but that, I mean, awesome show and all that. Like that time period, I was in that book. In my heart. I never saw it. Oh, you never saw Awesome Show? Oh, uh, I mean, I, I I saw a little bit, a very little bit of it. Uh, I but think it oh yeah, Liebahar was gonna come back actually, like maybe in even in May, but you know, everybody's locked down. Yeah. Yeah. We, remember, did you ever talk to him, Freddie, when he's coming back? We were in talks with his like <laughs> his handlers, basically. Freddy? I don't know where Freddy went. Um, the how's uh, how's work? Uh, it's fine. I went there yesterday. Today, they, I'm uh, like one day on, one day off for now, and then I'm gonna be back tomorrow for the rest of the week. But um, it was oddly normal. Yep. Almost like talking. Almost like seeing your face. You know, it's like a, a, it's like a, <laughs> you're like this is gonna be weird. This is gonna be weird. This is gonna be weird. And then you're like, ah, oh, this is not that weird. Like, <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's like, what's the difference now? It's like now I'm just back. Um, the I just went back to work, and it was like, weird. The weird part was was that it was like 
not so crazy. You know? It's just like... The fact that it was normal that you didn't know what I looked like? Oh, you're talking about work. You're talking no, about I'm talking about work, yeah. I went back to work, and it was like, um... Uh... Just like, another day, basically, everyone was wearing masks, but it's like... People weren't being that conscious of space, only mediumly conscious, and... Um... It was like, they're like, hey, can you help me do this? And I was like, I don't know if I can. I'm not supposed to be standing yeah, close yeah. to you when you're when you're doing the thing. And they're like, yeah, stand over here. It's like, okay, whatever. Yeah, I don't think this thing's going to be taken that seriously, really. Is, it, is this going to be on um, Instagram? I mean, uh, Instagram. On, like, on, on the episode. Like a, so you're, you're filming the, the computer. Yeah, have you not seen the episode recently? Probably not. I guess not. Yeah, well, we've Good been... Effect. We've been, uh, <laughs> very sleepy. Um, Freddy, did you hear from David Lee was going to come back <laughs> in May? We, he was, like, almost talked to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were going to set up a show with some locals, I yeah. remember. Yeah, that was going to be, like, probably within the next couple... Of... Yeah, well, I was going to be gone. I was going to go on a trip to Hawaii, but we're canceling them. Oh, yeah, maybe we should, um, call, call David Liebhart. Could you get him in on, yeah, get him on Zoom? Get him in on the Zoom. Oh, yeah, I wonder if you can Zoom in. He probably knows how to Zoom. Yeah, or at least the uh, Jonah guy does. His handle oh, yeah. I wonder if he, he, Jonah, Jonah's living with him for for the quarantine to ha- have a handler. He always had these handlers. Like, every time he came by, he was with these, like, you know, like, hip kids who were, like, taking him out on the road. And they're big. care of David Liebehart. Yeah, they're, like, taking, well, they're, like, I think they're kind of like trying to like hop on his C-list fame, like these yeah, kids from LA. Have, uh, my, my roommate has house David Liebhart and Philip. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. It's like not that. It's like not hard to get. So and then they're like, ah, uh, they, they're all they're, they're always like frustrated because he's kind of crazy, and then, and then they're trying to get. I don't know. They're trying no, to get it's like. Funny. It's funny when you have him on your YouTube, but then when you got a baby, you got to deal with him in real life. It's a, it gets a little too real. Yeah, yeah. I only have to deal with him. Seems like a handful on the road, you know. Yeah, I only have to deal with him for an hour and a half. I remember when he came through. Ice tea. I have a story about him that I can't share. What? Have you have you met him somehow? Uh, too much. You met him? For my roommate dealing with no, for my roommate dealing with him in their show house, um, like two years ago. He played a he played at the house. Yeah, or or then he stayed at their house and then he played somewhere else to fill his butt. Uh, interesting stuff like that. Did you do uh, anything Mexican today? No, that's that's tomorrow, isn't it? No, that's today. Oh, I missed it. Cinco de Mayo. I just missed it by a minute. Fuck, I could have done something about it. I wanted to uh, get like good Mexican. Fuck. All right. Get the mic. I'll bring Cinco de Mayo. Uh, say he's my own. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, it should be another thing, so you didn't do anything? Nothing Mexican? Wait, what am I... I'm using Duolingo to learn Spanish, and they haven't... I'm going through all the basic, you know, stuff, and they haven't even got the numbers yet. Which, like, you think it would be pretty basic. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro... Yeah. Cinco, cinco, seis. <laughs> that's uh, from like you know. Uh, that's, that's pretty much all I can do. That's a uh, pretty fly for a white guy, though. You know. You know that song, "Pretty Fly for a White Guy." What about it? Uno, oh, dos, tres, song, cuatro, cinco, yeah. cinco, seis. That's the only reason I know that. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, seis, five, twice. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. Isn't that? <laughs> Give you guys like a David Lynch effect. Yeah. Must, must be, hmm? must be the real yellow phone. Now you're talking about David Lynch. I was like, that can't even be you. I thought it was like one of these jokes where you're putting other people on the phone. Flashing light. Flashing light. Oh yeah, this is very Lynchian. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm right down the street from where he lives. Really. Oh, from the Art Institute or something, whatever it was? Where, where well, you filmed er, Eraserhead? The college is a little further away, but yeah, I, I'm living in the same about 
Yeah, well, there we're in basically almost Twin Peaks. It's actual town, so yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Suck it. Anyway, right? Yeah. Whoa! I think we just had a little light flicker. Um. Yeah, we're. Uh, yeah. I've been to Snoqualmie Falls. Have you been to Snoqualmie Falls? I have. Yeah, I've nice. been. I've yeah, been there. Very big. It's only like it looks just like the thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's only like an hour away. Is this a hotel? You can see the hotel from a distance. Yeah, maybe. I actually knew uh, his nephew. I think I've told you the story before. David Lynch. I knew David Lynch's nephew. I went to school with him actually, and his name was his name is Pat Lynch. He's got the name. He's got the name. His name is Pat Lynch, and then Lynch. somehow, somehow I I found out that it was it was that that was his uncle, and I was like, "You're David Lynch's nephew," and he's like, "Oh, Uncle David." Yeah, he didn't you know he didn't care. <laughs> Wasn't a big deal. That's just my wow. weird uncle. Yeah. Hey, oh yeah, crazy Uncle David. What a guy. I also went to school with. A cousin of the Carter, of Nick Carter and Aaron Carter. <laughs> weird. And he was Pat, what was Pat Lynch like? Normal or yeah. weird? Um, normal. David wow. Lynch. David Lynch is a pretty normal. Uh, like he's like abs- maybe absurdly normal if you look at the interviews with him and stuff. He's like extra normal. Yeah. Like yeah, almost like maybe like Twin Peaks level normal, where it's just like. You're so normal. This is weird. You know? He was doing some sort of a film school class online. I feel like all the celebrities are now, like, doing all this weird, like, social, like, job stuff. Like, yeah. Like, they you ever heard of this website, Cameo, where, like, you could, like, have the celebrities say stuff? I just short a video for a year or something, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they all have different prices, because they're, like, maybe they're out of work because of the virus, so they're, like getting yeah. weird bit parts for people saying like, hi, it's me, remember me from that one movie? I'm like, sending you a message. My <laughs> ex-girlfriend wanted to use that to um, get Ariel Pink, because he's on there. She, uh, I think she asked him to do a short video of him calling Grimes uh, stupid and retarded, um, <laughs> because, she, because she called her that a few years ago. There's like a pitchfork headline. It's like Ariel Pink Paul Grind Stupid and Retarded. Um, oh yeah. You can Google it and it's there. So she wanted Did he do it or no? I don't I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think she got a response. Um but Avi, I'm talking about Avi, you know. Oh, Avi, oh, yeah. Avi. Yeah, Avi, yeah, yeah. Gotta get Avi on the zoom. Oh. Yeah, let me um, I'm gonna see everybody, what everybody looks like on the phone, people. Let me see if she would respond to that, actually. That'd be interesting. The f- yeah, that is point. It's weird. I, I, uh, I don't know. It's like, it's like I was reading a book, and then they have show the movie. You know, you're, like, reading a book, and there's people in the book. And you kind of, like, put together what, maybe, the, what they're <laughs> doing. And then you see them, it's like, that's not them! <laughs> Oh man, that's an interesting. Um, yeah. But I always like to watch the movie first and then read the book. I know. I thought you were like, uh, like a a younger looking, like maybe like a for some reason I had like a more preppy style that you were dressed preppy. up as too. I don't know why. I thought you had like a golf, sh- like you're at a polo. How old do I look? You think I look ancient? No, you just have a beard. I thought you would be clean shaven and you would have a polo shirt. I and you know who I was imagining it was basically that. The singer in Fish Breath. Fish? Oh, yeah? That's what you, you thought he had, like, long hair and he was kind of, like, hippied out? Oh, no, wait. The other one in Fish Breath. The guy from Toyota in Fish Breath. Fish, mm-hmm. like, Fish Breath is a band? Yeah. I can't remember. The, Maybe. The, like uh, like the main guy from Toyota. Like, the like the taller, like, uh, like sarcastic guy from Toyota. Oh, yeah. That's kind of what I thought. Like, he would be like that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, um... Now we're going to get... Avery. Very, yeah. That's good. Avery, it's, one, nice. it's nice to see you. One time, Avery told me that she went to the, the dentist, 
And so now I always think that AV has really like bad teeth. <laughs> then she had like soft. Didn't she have like soft teeth or something weird like that? Like you go to the dentist because she had like a, some medical dental problem. Oh, I'm talking to AV. Oh, she did. She had the teeth yanked out. Yeah. So where with, with AV is like. So now I picture her as a person with bad teeth. That's like the main attribute if I'm trying to p- see people in my mind. I guess we met Mark. Hopefully, I mean, Mr. Ginsu doesn't do Zoom, that, and I'll, that'll be, I'm not, like, not He's still a secret. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This uh, does Mark. feel like a special episode or something. Like, I feel like, it's like, a special occasion. The yellow fellow yeah, face reveal. Um. Mm-hmm. Gonna, uh, AV was going to, I was trying to get Avia joined, but she said she just moved into a new apartment and there's no internet. So. Well, she moved out of her parents' house. I guess so. That's uh, that's quite quite the occasion. No, uh, what a time to move! Freddie moved right in the middle of it. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I don't know. That, 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 now the world. Also, now one of our housemates is moving out, so we have to find another housemate also oh. in the pandemic. So. Ow, fuck my shoulder. Big dumb. Batman. Batman! The the dirty rabbits are coming over to take over Gotham City! They're taking over Gotham City! They're starting a riot! Everything's going bad! Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. Uh, sort of. I heard something about starting a riot, and you say he's Batman? No, um, he's calling Batman. Batman! Batman, help me! There's a riot! Everybody's going crazy! You got kombucha? Let, there you go, Phil. You drinking kombucha? No, I'm drinking uh, green tea. Green, green tea, tea, huh? A lot like urine. Alright, here's, the, here's the next I'm message. Urine. urine. <laughs> are you drinking kombucha? No, urine. <laughs> the bandits are on the rise. There's no way to win. All the people are from chilling in their seats, wondering if they're going to die or not. But the bandits are coming, and they're going to take over everywhere. <laughs> the, the bandits are coming, they're going to take over everywhere. <laughs> no, that's uh, Mark. Oh yeah, you can talk to him, well, you can kind of talk to Mark. Let's see how well it works if we call him. Not, Help me, Batman! I'm falling! I'm falling! I can't hold on to any grip! I'm falling! He's falling! Alright, Mark, I'm gonna call you back. Wait. I get. It sounds like you get a few crazy old men calling him for this show. Yeah, Mark, you don't watch the show. <laughs> Mark, and, you don't know Mark, the guitar player? Is he fairly new? Nope. Oh, damn. Alright. No, I, I, I watched the show in first, then you get back there. Mark, the guitar player, has been there for years and years. The whole oh, time. Damn. Yeah, mo- we, we do have a lot of crazy old men, though. You're like the, the only, like, uh... Person I don't know personally who's not like this crazy old man who's calling like often. Because the other two, <laughs> the other people who are watching, like, because you know we're on cable here. Like, yeah. so Mark, Mark is actually watches this on cable television. He didn't even have the internet or anything. I want to see how the show looks now that it's like everyone on YouTube. Hello. Hello, Mark. Yeah. It's the program on TV. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Hey, Mark. You can get three pizzas for ten dollars at Safeway. Oh yeah, what kind of pizza? Well, they got pepperoni. Hey, they got a new one called Nacho Cheese Pizza. It's Red Baron. Nacho Cheese Pizza. What is it? Like cheese sauce? Yeah. Um. Uh, did you have one for Cinco de Mayo? Huh? It's Cinco de Mayo today. Mark, did you eat a pizza, the nacho cheese pizza? Oh. Did you eat nacho cheese pizza for Cinco de Mayo? 
Tomorrow we're gonna ha we're gonna buy those three pizzas. Oh uh, yeah, well, not today though, huh? Not today. Did you do anything Mexican today? Today we had hamburgers. No, oh, no tacos. No. Uh, it's uh, it's Cinco de Mayo. I guess it's kind of like the Fourth of July for Mexico. I think. Is oh, that, I see. Is that what it is? Right, you know. I'm not sure. Um. It kind of is like the Fourth of July. It's definitely something. And, and have you ever you ever done anything for it? No. I uh, I got the um, burrito out for the uh, for from the freezer. I froze a burrito from the taco truck uh, about a month ago, and I pulled it out and cooked it, and I'm eating it now. I'm thinking about buying some burritos tomorrow. Oh, yeah? What kind of burritos? Uh, I don't know. I have to see what they have at Safeway. Yeah. Uh, hello. Can you hear Can you hear Mark Yelfo? I can yeah. hear him. I can hear him, yeah. You can? Okay, yeah. We got, we're on the Zoom with other people, too, Mark. Uh, where's oh, Re can you hear me? I don't, I don't know if he can hear you. Where's Rebecca? She's lying down, taking a nap. Yeah, it's nighttime. We're doing the show at this time now instead of... Uh, five live eight forty-five. Oh, yeah. Cause I'm gonna be going back to work. I, or I am going back to work. I'm at I'm working it again now, and now it's uh, I'm going back into Is the world. Is there such thing as a nacho taco or a nacho burrito? A nacho burrito. Well, I mean, they got the nacho cheese has become this like cheese sauce. Which is, I think nachos used to be just like chips and regular cheese, but now they just put like that, uh, if you put that nacho cheese sauce on there, I think it might be counting as a nacho burrito, but, uh, what's on the nacho There's pizza? Such thing as a nacho burrito? What's on that nacho pizza? Oh. What's on there? Nacho cheese? Just, well, peppers and stuff, you know. Pe Mexican stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna get it? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that and then three of the other regulars. You're going to get four pizzas, huh? Yeah. Isn't the deal for three, though? Huh? The deal is for three pizzas, though, right? Three, yeah. You have to pay the extra on the fourth one. Yeah, so you're just going to buy one of the pizzas. You're going to pay full price for it. Yeah. Yeah, the nacho one. Why don't you get six pizzas, and then you can get the two, the deals, for? but that's a lot of pizzas. Oh, I, I can't afford that. Yeah. Six pizzas is for like a king. Like yeah, y'all fall like pizza too. Y'all fell's in Philadelphia. Mark, you ever been to Philadelphia? Yeah. You have? Why? Well, only on TV. <laughs> You've been there I on watched TV? It, watched it on TV. You watch the Always uh, Sunny in Philadelphia show? Yeah. Yeah. It's still on. I haven't seen the new ones. Maybe I should watch it while. No, you shouldn't watch the new ones. No, don't watch new ones. They're not good. You watch them? I don't think. I, I no, I had no. I know in my gut that they're not good. Yeah, probably. How could it be good? But um, I. I don't know if I'm gonna have that much time. I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna have about. The same amount of free time as I used to have, but now I'm just gonna have less. Like bar time. Now that I'm going back. I'm, all I'm gonna do is like go to work and then come home. It's like all I can do, you know. So it's like, what's the point of life? When, without, of what? Huh? What's the point of what? What's the point of life without uh, uh, social gatherings? Uh, TV. Lots <laughs> yeah. TV. TV. Lots of TV. Just like so much TV. I mean, people need to suck it up. You know, I don't think it's that big of a deal. You know, we get a sit around for two years. We get to, we have endless entertainment at our fingertips. I'm sucking it up, and I'm just like trying to philosophize on. What's the point of life in this kind of world where we have to all we're doing is struggling to live? Um, I mean, I don't think we're really struggling yet. No, we're not struggling. We're uh, we're lucky enough to be able to self isolate. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'm not struggling. I'm just uh, experiencing ennui of the ennui of life and, and things. You know? The ennui? Ennui. You don't know ennui? Ennui. Is that like a is that like a spiritual term? 
Um, I, I, I think it's like French. It's like déjà vu, or, but it's like ennui is like oh, yeah. just like every day is the same thing, all the time. Yeah. And My French fries are done. I gotta go. Your French fries are done. Okay. Bye, Mark. Okay. How old is Mark? Mark, how old are you? I don't know he's gone. I think he's like, I would say 50. No, 50, yeah. He's, he's 50. He, he's gotten, he, he got an altercation with, he, with a, a black guy like last week and he was saying some racist stuff. So. Oh, man. Yeah, it was. Just from the, just from his voice, I'm not surprised that he's the kind of guy that's getting into altercation. Yeah, yeah, that's he got in a right. fight. He's also on Thorazine and stuff. So, what's that for? It's, it's sedative. It's a sedative because he got in too many fights. I don't know if those episodes where he was being racist have aired yet, so he hasn't seen them. But I I don't know how he's gonna react when he sees those because he watches like every day on TV. Like, oh, you think he's gonna be embarrassed? He's going to be embarrassed or he's going to be mad because I was calling him the evil at the time. Was he drunk? Was he drunk? What? Was he drunk? He's not drunk. He doesn't drink at all. He's, uh, I don't know, I guess maybe he was an alcoholic or something because he, like, will not drink or he, like, he, like, has, a, like, a weird anger towards alcohol. Mm. I'm like, you want to go, like, like, he plays music. He plays the, like, like he's really in the Motley Crue. Ah, okay. And he's, he, he's playing, like, like, he's, he's pretty good at playing this, like, like, heavy, like, metal guitar. And I, we went to his house one time, and he played the guitar and stuff, and then we had a show at a bar, and we tried to get him to go to the bar, and he, he doesn't go to the bar, as he said, and he's like, if I go to the bar, I'm going to get drunk, too drunk. And, mm-hmm. I said, Mark, you don't have to uh, drink at the bar. You can just go and hang out. I'm like, I'm not going to drink, probably. And it's hard, though. It's really hard to be in that environment if you're, like, you know, all of it. I guess. I guess he was a... Uh, but maybe... He, that's why, that's not why I think he was an alcoholic. He never, like, said that he was an alcoholic. But he's like, if I go, I'm going to drink. And he's like, you can't just go and not drink. Oh, so you inferred that he at least has issues with alcohol. Yeah, so he can go. Seems like people could go... And not drink, but I guess you can't if you have a severe drinking problem or something. It's like I don't, I don't even know how it works. But you'd be like, ah, and you give us this, like, you're like buying, getting alcohol. You have to like buy it from the guy at least. So you can like slip unless you like start drinking it off other people's tables or something. I've, I've done that. Yeah, you got kicked out of the bar, right? Yeah, you remember that, yeah. Yeah. I think that's why I'm getting kicked out. I have a, like, I wouldn't, I think I didn't get any good news. Maybe I did, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, New Year's Day, I got thrown out of there. Ran the street. That was a turning point in my life, I think. I think. <laughs> you got thrown out of the bar? Yeah, I, th- I really think that I need to hit that level of, like, this complete, like, you know, Loser, dumb. Yeah. yeah you know, around a little. You, bit. Were you blacked out when you? Yeah. Oh my god. I, I my friend was. I called my my friend to save me, and he was Uber Ubering me away after all that. Yeah. And I was kind of sobering up in the Uber, and I started getting these text messages from these people I met there, and I was like, I'm sorry, I have no idea who you are, but they're saying, Oh my god, man, you're you're awesome. We gotta hang out again soon. I was like, I'm sorry. The guy's name was Pat. He sent me a picture of himself. Like, and I was like, sorry, I don't remember you, even though it was like half an hour earlier. <laughs> but, you made, like, oh, yeah. but you gave him your phone number? I guess so. He thought I was great, but I had no recollection of him. Um, yeah. I think, and then he texted me back he texted me back the next weekend trying to get me to go out drinking with him. I was like, sorry, man, I, I don't have any recollection of you. Yeah. That's and that's not like... <laughs> That's not good when you're like, man, th- this guy was drinking <laughs> off the, the tables and he got kicked out of a bar. I want more of this. <laughs> like, That's not a friend you want. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm not a friend you want. Oh, yeah, but like, you don't want a friend who wants to... S- it's like I think he maybe he wants to see people get like hurt themselves. 
he wanted yeah more like wacky crazy guy activity yeah you know? he's like look he at wanted- this guy Hey, he calls his friends and he's like, I'm going to get this guy to like roll down a hill in a garbage can tonight. Yeah, he wants to make my life like a Seth Rogen movie with him. Yeah, yeah, you might have missed out on a Seth Rogen movie, though, by not calling that guy back. Like, you could have been... He didn't look like a guy that I'd want to have a Seth Rogen movie because of experience. Yeah. Uh, he looks kind of like an ICP. Movie. Yeah, don't... Not now, like... Uh... I never like to share drinks. I, I would sometimes, but like I wasn't like immediately doing that and like about germs and stuff. And now, like you could never drink like off of tables. Not like you'd ever go like go to the bars, but now like drinking drinks off of other tables is even worse. No, I can't. People are gonna be skittish for a while. I think. Yeah. You know? um, do you remember drinking off the tables, or did somebody told you a story about it later? No, I, I have a like a very like vague memory of yeah. potentially. Did they did they when they kick you out, did they have to like physically kick you out or did they just like get out yeah, of I here? I remember being like grabbed by his, I know I recognize the guy there. Like I see him every once in a while. There's, I see him around the city and I was like, Ah, oh, that's that guy that grabbed me by my neck and chucked me out. <laughs> so did he physically throw you on and did you land on your feet or on your Yeah, I got I got like scraped up and stuff. Yeah. Oh, jeez! I don't know. I remember there's a guy. There's a guy. The bar was packed that night. There's a guy dressed up like Santa Claus. And I remember I was getting in his face. <laughs> so that might have. Been, that's one of like the snapshots of the night. Is like the guy dressed up like Santa, and he like is like right up against his face for some reason. And yeah. I have no idea why. I don't know if bars are ever. When the bars open back up, I gotta get so drunk that I get kicked out of a bar. I never did that, so I feel like kind of like. And then they're like missing out I think it's on. It's gonna be like, it's, that's phase four at least in Washington. So that's like, some people think that might not even be till the fall. Oh, like uh, all of summer basically no bars. My the oh, my restaurant I was gonna start working at before this all happened. Uh, they, like, they, they all they've been telling me for a while has just been like, oh, we're postponing, we're postponing. But today they just called me and told me uh, June first. It's like a brand new restaurant opening. They told me to come in for training, and they're going to open in July. Um, and I, it sounds like not just for like takeout, but it's going to be like um, open to the public because it's coming in dining July first. So that's the news for Philly. Mm. I wonder. I wonder about bars in like New Orleans because I think you can uh, drink in public. You can in New Orleans. I know that. I don't know. Is that not true? I think, I think that's true. Uh, uh, Mardi Gras party outside time. Yeah, only Mardi Gras. I just wonder if like they could have the bars open and their takeout. Like maybe what we need to do for social to keep social distancing, but reopen the bars is to um, get rid of the public drinking laws. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? No, just. So people don't have to worry about going to a bar to drink. Just let people drink in public. I think everywhere. In the yeah. I think, I think that that's the, seems like the solution to me. If you're going to drink the economy, public, we need we need red circles six feet apart everywhere in public spaces. So if yeah. you're going to drink in public, you have to be in one of the circles. That six feet apart thing is not. It's like not a good. Th- it's like six feet apart. It's like if you're at a store. Or like you have to pass somebody by, but it's not like uh, nobody, nobody pays attention to it. Nobody pays attention. But it's not like you're supposed to be. If you're like hanging out for like a long period of time, but you're just like staying six feet apart, that's not what the that six feet apart thing is about. It's like you can't like go vi- you can't go visit your friends and hang out with them as long as you're six feet apart. That's not like how it is. Yeah, it's not like a magic measurement. You yeah, could hypothetically, still like you know slur your words and then have a big. That travel perfectly six feet into somebody else. Totally. People are like, yeah. there's a lot of. I think there's a lot of this stuff where people are like, I mean, this is just like any rule. You make a rule, or like a guideline, and then people like follow it to the letter, and then not like uphold the spirit of the law. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, there's like, it's like the minimum amount of lead that you can have in the water. It's like, if it's like, let's say, five parts per 
like million or whatever they, they call it, you know? And they're like, well, this lead is 4.8 parts. Must be fine. Yeah. Totally. It's like not quite poisoning amount of lead. So it's it passes the <laughs> guidelines. Everybody can drink it. Are you getting a phone call? Uh, I'm uh, I'm tearing up the message of the future. You can get your face on there. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah. See, right now I'm not like not looking at the thing, and I'm just hearing your your voice, and it's more comfortable for me. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm getting uh, um, uh, text. personal messages. Yeah, personal messages. Maybe I should set. Oh, I should set up the computer. To, uh, or tell these people on Who's their phone. Who's messaging you, Kenny? Huh? Who's messaging you? Uh, Caitlin, about my book. I'm writing this book today. Oh, yeah, you yeah, tell me. Do you have a title for it? Um, I, my two working titles right now are 300 Things. That's one title. Ah. And my other title is The Good Bible. <laughs> I like it. That's good. I like Weren't you calling it like a series of essays? Also, but that's like the de that's the, the description of the book. Oh yeah. When people say, "What's the I book?" Three hundred things is like a really catchy title, and you kind of wonder that what was it is. that was Rose's title, but I think it's a good one. It's like, um, I think the good Bible that's like that catches your. I, I don't know. I, find, I feel like the that's better, better Bible. <laughs> yeah. The, well, not the, not the better Bible because the better Bible. Like, the thing is, if you used to say the good Bible, it's, like, implying that it's the better Bible and that you're, like, making references towards the regular Bible. But if you just say it's a good, it's the good Bible, then you're just, like, the other Bible is not the good Bible. So it's, like, making that reference without being as direct. Well, I think you run the like risk it. with that one of isolating people who wouldn't want to pick up anything. Like, I don't want to read a religious book. Yeah, so I don't um, know. But maybe you'll have to the know. people who would pick it up... Uh, uh, like looking for religious stuff also would be dis disappointed. So. Yeah. What? But that that's from um um King of the Hill anyway though you know because King of the Hill. Oh, good Hank. Good Hank, yeah. He's like, this is my new kid. Good Hank. <laughs> yeah. Does Freddie have bad service or something? I don't know, Freddie. You have bad service. What's going on? Oh, mm. Freddie. Oh, you're yes. you're coming out a little bit, but I'm gonna record a message in the future. Here we go. Oh yeah, message the future. Hey, future, it's us the past. Five at eight forty-five. Yeah, I'll say something. Hi, future. You're not real. It's not going to your face. So keep going talking. You're not real, future. Whoa, it's your fellow's face. All right, bye, future. Um, that was cool. Yeah, now you can be on there. Uh, I'm gonna call my grandmother. Yeah, so today I I, I finished page 200 of the book. I bought these index cards like before. 200 pages done. Yeah, I wrote 200 pages. There you go. I'm a real. I'm gonna be a real writer, kind of. Are they are they finished? Like you're not gonna edit it, or you know, you're um, gonna keep it. Right now they're handwritten, okay. and. I haven't decided, but I'm uh, all, I'm gonna write the 300 pages, and then we'll see where it goes from there. I might type it out just for another activity after I'm done, but I might not. It might be a, it might not be like it's either gonna be this like weird handwritten text that nobody gets to see. You need to give it to an editor. You know, you don't need to edit it. You gotta get uh, like a an editor and or a typer or something. Yeah. But I also have been looking at devices, like I've been looking at these like word processors, like old word processors that I can get that are like not connected to the computer, and they seem kind of fun to get, so I might get one of those anyway. And then, anyway, when I'm done, with, like right now, I don't know, I have a problem quitting things. So, like right now, I'm like, you get oh, the next book, huh? You get yeah, I'm already like, and new next book. Yeah, I'm like, uh oh, this book's almost done, and I think my next book. You gonna write a fictional book next? Yeah, so, yeah, I think my next book might be like really, really rambly, unplanned fiction. <laughs> where, you know, where it's just like no plans at all, and it just like goes weird. It doesn't, it's just like, uh, yeah, but maybe fiction or at least, at least connected, because right now it's like every page is very separate. So, 
You could just like scan the pages and just have it appear like handwritten. That could be cool. Yeah, I might do that too, but I might type it out. I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I, I finished page 200 today, and the index cards I got came in, pack of, like, came in three, like a, a three pack of 100 cards each. And like the three pack was, was sealed together, and then within the three pack, each pack of 100 was sealed. Wait, what's the index cards for? I'm writing the book on the cards as paper. Uh, like they're writing. about like eight and a half by... Uh... Uh, five and a half. Yeah, it's not eight half by five, eleven. Five. It's like, yeah, about half a page. What was the reason for that? Be behind getting index cards. Yeah. Instead of writing in that. instead of notebook cards. Yeah. Well. Instead of notebook. Part okay, of the writer's so, secret. Uh, <laughs> I started one. One reason it was it is that the whole thing started because Freddie has this like zine thing where we, we yeah. draw on these cards and then I was writing one page a week for the zine on this in this format and I was like I like doing this so I so I just like kept the same format yeah but also it's um like I like that it's like I'm filling out these cards and then once I'm done filling out the cards that's it cuz otherwise hey, what's your zine called uh, the night drawer the night growler uh, drawer drawer or, uh, or drawer oh oh the night okay so and, um, yeah. yeah actually you could draw too we've been doing it we used to just meet at a bar but there's no more bars oh yeah, I can get yellow fellow uh, off meeting on zoom and talk to him off the program every week and everyone drives <laughs> that'd the, be weird that that what are you saying Kenny but then we'd have to talk to him off the program and this is already Seeing your face is one thing, but <laughs> it's like too much. I always just want to invite everybody. Every yeah, time. I mean, yeah, we could, we could, we could, Oh yeah, let me tell you about this project. He can get can on that. That'd be okay. But um, wait, so it's a theme, and everybody draws the theme. Yeah. Yeah. So you get like a book that's called like. Recently or what? What was the one? What was the most recent one? It was like uh, one of these things is not like the other. That's right. One but, of these things is not like the other. So then. Other themes have been a whole bunch of writer. of people's interpretation of that idea. Ah, what's it? Is it monthly book. or weekly or what? Weekly. Weekly. What's the, the current theme? We won't until Sunday. We're going to choose it at 7 p.m. on Sunday. Oh, okay. All right. I'm calling uh, Grandma. We How only got. We only got. We'll find out. We only got about six minutes left. No. Drinking water. Yeah, we'll see if Grandma's bringing water. Oh yeah, you never get to hear this stuff live, uh, y'all. That's not. You have water, yellow fellow? Green, uh, green tea. Yeah, it's, uh, I got some water. water. <sighs> right, Grandma's gonna be asleep, maybe. Grandma's not answering the phone. Grandma. Hello? Uh, Grandma Hello? went to bed. Grandma went to bed uh, early, huh? Yeah. Wow. How are you? She's taking a drunk nap, huh? What? She's taking a drunk nap. She's taking a drunk nap? She got drunk? Probably. Yeah. Are you going uh, to continue the party later, Grandma? Well, she's awake now? <laughs> no, I'm in her room. Oh, why? Because <laughs> I picked up the phone. Oh, that's where the phone is? <laughs> yeah, I, you okay? I'm okay. She was sleeping. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. She got to drink water. She drinking water? You drinking water? No, I'm drinking, drinking water. water. What are you, how come you're not at work? My day off. Day off, oh wow. Uh, what did you do for dinner? Did you hear, oh, did you hear anything Mexican today? <laughs> oh, I, I ate a taco. 
You hate a taco anyway? What kind of taco? Pork taco. Mm, pork taco. Pork taco. Uh, mm, buenos dias. Uh, dos uh, cervezas uh, per favor. <laughs> what's the what's the what's the holiday um, celebrate? Like, what is is it? I think like, it's Independence I think Day. It's, I think it's like the Independence Mexican Independence Day from. Spain? Oh, that yeah. makes sense. I think it's like the 4th of July, just because it's like the 5th of May, the 4th of July. For some reason, I think okay. it's that. I didn't, I didn't like the fourth season of Arrested Development, but they had a funny bit where they were celebrating celebrating um, Cinco de Cuatro instead. Um, they had a misunderstanding about the name of the holiday, and they wanted to celebrate it on a different... They wanted to celebrate on the 4th. Yeah, I don't think I ever... They called it Cinco de Cuatro? Yeah. Never saw it. <laughs> pretty, good. pretty good. Uh, uh the four oh. of five. Andrew Grimm went to sleep early, though, huh? Yeah. Are you, uh, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing, Andrew? <laughs> what? What are you doing? Talking to people, I mean a burrito... Can Andrew hear us? What? Can yeah, Andrew? What? Andrew? Yeah. How are you? Good. Who is that? This is John. Y'all fell. <laughs> <laughs> you were in my dream. Whoa, Andrew was in your dream? Yeah, like a month ago. Sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> you and my brother, you and your brother were in my dream. Yeah, you all had a dream about us, Andrew. That he was hanging out with us and Grandma and watching some kind of so documentary. You guys were watching the a making of a document. It was like a documentary about the making of the album cover, uh, <laughs> Power and Corruption Lies. By new new order. Wow! We were watching on the TV, and I was like putting together the flowers on the album cover, even though it's like a painting. But the guy on the TV in the dream was just, like putting the decay together. I know, I'm just remembering this. I had a really weird dream. Ow. This is not something we won't usually want to talk about the program, but that, that there was a, I went to like I was like telling a security guard about how I was feeling like stressed out about <laughs> the virus, and he told me to suck it up. <laughs> well, it's your subconscious, do you think? I think it might have been my subconscious. I was like, uh, I don't know why I was talking to a security guard or something, but I was like, I'm worried about that the future. And he's like, we're all are, get over it. <laughs> he's like, your subconscious is? Yeah, it was, security my, guard. It, like, it was my subconscious. So, like, mind cop. Nice. Why did I know? Good, so that's not very nice. It wasn't a very nice dream, yeah. But it was, it was tough love. It was a dream? It was a dream. Are you sure? You think I talked to the security guard? I don't think... I think it was a dream because then, then I, I was like in a public place. I'm, I've been having a lot of public place dreams. I don't know if they before... like you, I guess all my dreams are public place dreams usually because that's like what you go to. But it's like now I wake up and I'm like, whoa, a public place. I'm writing my dreams down. I'm going to see what my most recent dream was. You doing that? You doing a little dream journal? I am. Are you... Uh, that's cool. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I go back and look at old dream journals, and then you like have no recollection of it, and it's like a short it story. You out, it brings you right back into that like world. It's a weird thing because your mind pushes it out, pushes it out, but then stuff reels it right back in. Yeah. Um, you gonna go lucid dreaming? Is that what you're going? I don't, see, I don't remember this. Sorry. Wait, I want to. I want to do that. Uh, I'll, I, it's always right when I'm like rolling over and I'm like sloppily rolling stuff down. I was, I was wiping, I was rubbing peanut butter and jelly all over my face <laughs> and looking at myself in the mirror. And uh, David Lynch helped. Take go. Bye. Bye, Andrew. Out of my home. David Lynch helped. I don't know who he helped. Kicked me out of my home. Oh, 
Oh, because my dad and his new wife wanted me out of there. Oh. <laughs> and, but he couldn't, but my dad couldn't tell me this, so he got David Lynch to do it. That's Freudian. And I guess before that, I was rubbing peanut butter and jelly all over my face. Oh, sounds, sounds Freudian. Out of my house. That's good. I completely forgot, and that was the other night. That was like two nights ago. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, all right, well, the show is about over, so I want to thank uh, Mark and uh, Freddie and Yalfo. I think that's everybody we talked to, and Grandma and Andrew. Thank you. Wow, it's great talking with you, John, or Yellow Fellow. <laughs> yeah. This was fun. John, <laughs> Mooney. Um, we're going to be here at this time uh, for indefinitely for now, so oh, yeah. you can come back every day at this time. Uh, uh, 45. It's live. All right, guys. Eight forty-five. All right, here's the credits. I'm gonna run the credits. You can talk over them. If you oh, want. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's Tuesday. We're on TCTV channel twenty-two, eleven thirty, and two a.m. Check it out. YDWM dot com. 360-364, call me a message, get on TV, yeah, 109 State Avenue, number three, we're not there, it's a, hell oh, yeah, dog, hey look, it's the Coley Falls, there it is, whoa, TCTV, oh, LaBay Bay, Jordy Fabulous, Greg Graham, South Carolina, Drum Lips, Thurston, Kenny Walsh, Western USA, thank you, and viewers, that's you, you're watching, thank you, hey, hell yeah, dog, hell yeah, dog. Woo! That's like the shot. Bye! Bye.